All right, everybody, it's good to be back with you again. This time we're coming from uh, Fenway Park here in 1949, June 14th, 1949. There were no games originally scheduled for the 13th, so we didn't skip a day. We're just doing what the schedule tells us. And uh, the Red Sox and Indians are fighting for first place. So it's going to be the 32-19 Indians facing the 32-20 and 20 Red Sox. That's right, only a half game separates the two teams. Dale Mitchell takes a strike from Mel Parnell, and Mitchell swings and hits the next one to left field. It's Ted Williams who gets that for the out one away. Mel Parnell so far, 2.80 ERA and a 25, I'm sorry, a 2.13 ERA and a 7-3 and record. I'm looking at uh, his real-life stats, not the um, ones in the replay. 97 innings pitched, uh, 38 walks against 44 strikeouts. Here comes Mickey Vernon, and that's lined through the right side for a base hit, and that'll bring up Ken Keltner. Kilner's hitting 265 um, and uh, 500 slugging percentage as he takes the ball. So he has the ability to go deep if he gets one. There's a strike to him. It's one and one. That's hit to left center field, and it'll be Williams making the catch two away. And here comes Larry Doby. Reading up a little bit on Parnell, Parnell did not particularly enjoy pitching in Fenway Park, in part because of the uh, big uh, green monster, but even more so because of the lack of foul territory. So here, Doby, he takes a ball high and outside. Hit deep to right, but Zarilla is there for the out, and that will do it for the Tribe in the top of the first. We go now to the bottom of the first inning. There is no score. And here comes Dom DiMaggio. Before the start of this one, I had a big uh, debate with myself over whether I wanted to put Ted Williams back in leadoff or not. In the end, I decided not to. Decided to stick it with uh, stick with it this way. I figured that DiMaggio, Williams, and Stevens are so similar uh, that you could put them in any order you wanted. DiMaggio takes a ball and then a strike of the knees, 1-1. One one. There's a ball inside, 2-1. Bob Feller pitching. He's got a 3-1 count now on DiMaggio. Feller with a 3.34 ERA and a 4-3 and record. 59 and a third pitch, so he hasn't pitched quite as much as Parnell. I think he was injured for a short time. Ground ball, it's uh, Gordon making the play at second, and he throws to first, one away. Here now Johnny Pesky, and there's a strike to Pesky, 0-1. Way inside, 1-1. And that's high, 2-1 and one on Johnny. Swing and a miss, it's 2-2. Two and two. Foul straight back. Hit back to the box. Feller turns and throws him out. Two away, and here comes Teddy Ballgame. Hitting 399. There's a ball outside. And 399, and that's up and back to the backstop, 2-0. Oh, I don't blame Feller for not wanting to throw anything he can hit. 11 home runs for Williams. Hit over to left, and that will be out of the reach of Williams, or Mitchell, I'm sorry. And that's uh, going to be a double for Williams. Uh, Mitchell didn't play that one particularly well as, at all. That was hit towards the line, and he just couldn't get there on time. And so uh, Ted Williams on his second base. He's got another base hit that puts him over 400. That brings up Vern Stevens. So uh, there's a strike to Stevens. That's right, the splendid splinter with some uh, signs of 1941 again. There's a ball inside. It's one and one on Stevens. Ground ball towards third, and Keltner fields that and throws to first. Just gets his man in time. That uh, brings us up now to the top of the second inning. Still no score. Here is Lou Boudreau. Boudreau takes a strike, hitting 337 is Lou. And there's a ball inside. One and one the count. Good amount of slugging, good on base percentage. That's fouled away. It's one and two. And that's a ball in the dirt. Two and two the count. Of course, the Red Sox and the Indians know a lot about uh, playing against each other in big games. You remember uh, in 1948, they had that big game at the end of the season after they were tied. There's a fly ball over to center. DiMaggio's got that one. One away. Here is Joe Gordon. There's a ball inside, 1-0 to Gordon, and there's another ball high, 2-0. There's a strike to him, 2-1, and, and ball 3. 3-1 three the count on Gordon, and that's fouled away. It's a full count. And there's ball 4, so uh, Parnell loses Gordon. He's a little bit too uh, fancy with him, and that'll bring up Bob, Bob Kennedy. I know that Parnell's worried about that monster, but he should worry a little bit more about just throwing strikes. There's a ball high to Kennedy, 1-0, and, and a strike, 1-1. One one. That was down the heart of the plate. Breaking ball for a strike is one and two. Has popped up foul out of play. Goodman couldn't get there. Blasted to center. DiMaggio goes back for that, has it, and then drops it. That'll be an air on DiMaggio, and they're not going to give him the catch. So Gordon goes to third and Kennedy to second on that one. And uh, that brings up now Jim Hegan. A playable ball there for DiMaggio, and he just doesn't do it. We'll keep the infield back, I believe, in Fenway Park and all. And there's a ball high to Jim, 1-0. and oh. And that's way up there, 2-0. and oh. Suicide squeeze, and uh, maybe we should have played him in. Pesky uh, fields that one, throws over to Goodman, covering it first, and there's absolutely no way to get the lead runner at home. So Gordon broke for home, 
And uh, the bunt was just excellent. There's absolutely nothing that Pesky could do about that. And that'll bring up Bob Feller with two away. There's a ball down and in. Feller's hitting 231, not too bad. Ground ball towards the middle, and uh, Stevens uh, fields that and throws over to first for the out. And that does it. We go now to the uh, bottom of the second inning. It's a 1-0 lead now for the Indians, and here comes Bobby Doerr. There's a ball inside to him, 1-0. And way inside, 100 miles an hour from Feller. 2-0 oh, the count on Doerr. That's fouled away as 2-1. Swing and a miss. There's a slider down and in, so it's a full count on Bobby. And there's ball four, and Feller loses him anyway, even after trying to intimidate him. That'll bring up Al Zarilla. 25 walks for Feller against the 20 strikeouts. Now, Zarilla, not much of a bunner, and Doerr can't really run, so that makes this pretty predictable. There's a ball outside to Zarilla. And he fouls that one off the hands, 1-1. One one. That's low, 2-1. and one. Way inside, 3-1. And, and there's a strike, full count on Zerilla. And that's popped up to the left side. Keltner, the third baseman, will end up grabbing that for the out, one away. And here comes Billy Goodman. Goodman and then Tebbets. Goodman hitting 374, and he takes the ball low, 1-0. and oh. That misses inside, 2-0 oh, the count. That's high, so it's 3-0 and on Billy, and there is a strike. 3-1 and the count. And boy, big fastball at the belt. 100 miles an hour. Feller's got uh, the heat going today, and there's a swing and a miss by Goodman, and he strikes out two away. That brings up Bertie Tebbets. Tebbets fouls one away. Tebbets is hitting 238 and has a little bit of power, but not that much. 1-1. One one. He's uh, got three home runs. There's a swing and a miss on that uh, fastball. It's 1-2, and two, and it's a ground ball over to uh, Pesky, who flips over to Dewar at second base for the force. That brings us now to the top of the third inning, and it's uh, still a 1-0 lead for the Indians. Here comes Dale Mitchell. There's a slider low, 1-0 on Dale, and there's a fly ball to left, and uh, Williams has that for the out, one away. Mickey Vernon up now, and he's been dominating Red Sox pitching. He's 1-1 one one today, he's hitting over 600 against Boston. 2-1 and one now the count, and there's a slider low. It's 3-1, and one, and that's up and in, and so he takes a walk. That brings up Ken Keltner up against uh, Mel Parnell. Parnell has walked, too. He hasn't struck anyone out, and we'll see what happens here. There's a strike to Keltner, 0-1. Red Sox looking for a double play. Ground ball to Dewar, and uh, unfortunately, Vernon was running on that, so Bobby has to go to first for the out. Two away, and up comes Larry Doby. Doby hits this one over to left center field, and DiMaggio knows where that one's going. He goes straight to his spot, and he's got it for the out. We go now to the bottom of the third inning, still a 1-0 ball game, and a good one at that. Here's Mel Parnell, not a very good hitting pitcher. He takes the ball outside, and then a strike. Fouled away, it's 1-2 on Mel. There's a ball, 2-2. Two two. Bounced off the mound, Boudreau on to first, one away. Joe Dim or Dom DiMaggio up now. I bet the Red Sox wish it were Joe. The Re Yankees wish that Joe were playing right now. 1-1's one one's the count on Dom. The Yankees, of course, starting to sink. 2-1 and one on DiMaggio. And that's high. It's 3-1 and one on Dom. There's strike two, full count. And there's a fastball on the outer third of the plate. DiMaggio swung on that and missed, and down he goes. Two away, and here comes Pesky. So Feller now with two strikeouts. Pesky fouls one away, and then fouls another one straight back. And that one too high. Fouled away now, one and two. Way inside, two and two. Tell you, Bob Feller comes inside on you like that, you better watch your head. And that's a fastball on the outside corner, and that's strike three. That's what Feller does to you. Gets you looking inside, 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 then away. We go now to the top of the fourth inning. It's still a one nothing lead for Cleveland. Here comes Lou Boudreau. Been surprisingly quiet here, but sometimes that happens in Fenway. 0-1 oh, the count as that was fouled away, and this is fouled over to the left side out of play. 0-2. Oh, Swing and a miss, and down goes Boudreau, and so Parnell now has his first strikeout. That'll bring up Joe Gordon. There's a ball inside to Joe, and a strike on the inside corner. It's 1-1. One one. Fouled away. Now 1-2 and two on Gordon. Sinker wide, 2-2. Two and two. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout for Parnell, and down he goes. That'll bring up Bob Kennedy. Top of the fourth, one nothing Cleveland. There's a strike on the outside edge and a ball, 1-1. One one. Good pitching here today, man. 2-1 and one the count, and there's a liner to the right side for a base hit. Only the third hit of the game from, either, from both teams combined. Second one for the Indians. So Bob Kennedy found some uh, real estate there in right field, and that'll bring up Jim Hegan. Hegan is, uh, he walked last time up, I believe. 
Now on with the air. My apologies on DiMaggio. That's ripped to the alley and left. That'll be a base hit. And Kennedy goes to third. Hegan goes all the way to second base and beats the throw in there from Williams, I believe it was. Yep, and uh, that's where he's perched at second base. Runners on a second and third with two outs. Here comes Bob Feller. He's going to have to swing away. And uh, Parnell comes into him, and there's a ball inside. Swing and a miss on that, one and one. Chopper towards second. Uh, actually, Stevens, the shortstop, grabs that one and throws over to first for the out. We go now to the bottom of the fourth inning, and uh, it is uh, still a one nothing lead for Cleveland. Here comes Ted Williams. Williams takes a strike. He's hitting 402. And that's lined to the gap in right for another base hit. That brings up Vern Stevens. You guys still want me to hit him third? Here comes Vern, and that's a base hit to right center, and that puts runners on the corners. That'll bring up Bobby DeWer. And now you have a question. Williams not particularly fast. So you probably don't want to bunt with Bobby, but Stevens can run. There goes the runner, ground ball to third, and uh, Williams will try for the plate. And he's been thrown out. Kellner with a good throw home. Uh, Stevens makes second, and that'll bring up Alzarilla. One away now, runners on at first and second. And Zarilla takes a strike, 0-1. There's a ball, 1-1 the count. Low, 2-0. Flying to right field, but Kennedy's there, and he makes the catch for the out. Two away, and here comes Billy Goodman. There's a question as to whether we should have sent Williams or not as Goodman fouls this one away. There's another strike, 0-2. I want to be aggressive. And there's a uh, hit past the pitcher, Feller, and uh, another one of these decisions to make. We're going to send both runners. There's a throw to third, and Bobby DeWer thrown out. But uh, Stevens is able to score before him, and uh, the Red Sox end up tying up this ball game. We go now to the top of the fifth inning, and it is a 1-1 tie. Here comes Dale Mitchell against uh, Mel Parnell. The ball high and inside, 1-0 on Mitchell, and that's hit deep to center, and DiMaggio's got that for the out easily. One away. Here's Mickey Vernon. There's a strike in the inner half, 0-1 oh, good pitch. And a ball low and away. One and one. Line to second. Pass to where he jumped up for that but couldn't get it. And that'll bring up Ken Keltner. So Vernon with the base hit. Here comes Keltner. And uh, once again, here comes Cleveland. Low strike. They call that a strike. Good framing job by Tevitz. And swing and a miss. And uh, Vernon has that base stolen. So uh, he was coming down. Tevitz had a good throw, but um, it wasn't quite in time. And that puts a runner in scoring position now for the Indians. Keltner's got an 0-2 count. It's fouled away, still 0-2. And, and there's a ball low. Swing and a miss, and down he goes. Two away, and here comes Larry Doby. Doby has driven in 27, and he fouls one away, 0-1. There's another strike. It's 0-2 on Larry. And he just held up in time, 1-2. Ball inside, 2-2. Two and two. Way off the plate, and Doby swung on that one and missed. He's tagged out there um, uh, at the plate by uh, Tebbets. Not that it matters that much. He would have been out anyway at first. We'll go to the bottom of the fifth inning. It is still a 1-1 game. And here comes Bertie Tebbets, and he takes a ball off the plate. Ground ball right at the mound. Gordon has that, throws to first, and it's in time. One away. Mel Parnell now, who takes the ball, is over one. And that's hit over to center, but Doby's got it. Two away, and up comes Dom DiMaggio. Strike down Broadway. 0-1 on Dom. And there's a swing and a miss. DiMaggio cannot catch up with that filler fastball. 0-2. That one misses. It's 1-2. Swung on and missed. Feller now has struck out four. And we go now to the top of the sixth inning. With Feller pitching like this, I'm not sure the Red Sox will be able to do much. Here comes Lou Boudreau for Cleveland, and he takes the ball low. Arnell has pitched well also. Ground ball over to short. Stevens throws to first. One away. Here comes Joe Gordon. There's a ball outside. And swing at one in the dirt. It's one and one. Ground ball right side. to where to first. Two away. Here comes Bob Kennedy. There's a ball high to Bob. Hit to center. And there's the base hit. And that'll bring up Jim Heakin. So uh, runner on a first base. Two outs. Top of the sixth. Tie ball game. Fouled away by Heakin. One and one. Oh and one. Sorry. And now it's one and one as that was inside. Ground ball over to the left side. Pesky, the third baseman, with a great dive on that one and comes up trying to throw, but he has no place to throw it to. Everybody's safe, and they're going to call that an infield hit. That brings up now Bob Feller with two outs. Runners on at first and second. Feller's 0 for 2, and he takes the ball low and inside. Fouls one away now, 1-1. One and one. There's a strike called, 1-2. and two. Hit to right center. That's going to be in there for a base hit. Kennedy goes around to score. Hegan goes to third. So Bob Feller gets it done here with a base hit over to center field. 
And uh, that's something I don't think you would have expected coming into this game. Dale Mitchell comes up now, and it's a 2-1 to one lead for Cleveland. There is a ball to Mitchell. Hit over to right, and Zarilla going back on that one and is able to make the catch for the out. That was over near right center field where the ball has the fence has a little divot. And uh, we go now to the bottom of the sixth inning. It is a 2-1 to one lead for Cleveland. Here comes Johnny Pesky, and he takes a strike uh, in tight. And jumps on that curveball. There's a base hit number five for the Red Sox, and that will bring up, you guessed it, 405 the average, and there's a ball low to Williams, 1-0. Up and in, 2-0. and Fouled away, now 2-1. That's down and in. Full 3-1 the count on Williams, and there's ball four around the knees, and Williams has been perfect today, and that brings up uh, Vern Stevens. Stevens has been the protection, though I'm starting to wonder if uh, we should uh, mess, this, mess around with this a little bit, make it Williams, DiMaggio, then Stevens. We've been changing this around a lot here so far this season. There's a uh, grounder foul, 0-1 on Vern. Thing is that Vern has not been great to uh, back up for uh, Williams, and uh, we saw it there with that base on balls. One and two now the count. And that's low, two and two on Stevens. Low and outside is a full count. And that's high, so ball four, and that'll load him up. Up now Bobby DeWer. Base is jammed. And there's a strike middle in, 0 and 1 on Bobby. There's a ball wide, 1 and 1. And a swing and a miss chest high, 1 and 2. And there's a ball, 2 and 2. Fouled away. Still two and two. It's fouled away again. There's a foul tip, but Hegan couldn't hold on to that. So remember, it remains two and two. And uh, that was a uh, check swing by DeWer, and he held up. So now a uh, full count. Feller's starting to lose it here. He's pitching like uh, gangbusters for a while, and he's in danger of walking in the tying run. And there it is. Ball four is off the plate, and Bobby didn't swing either. And uh, that'll bring up Al Zarilla, and we have a 2-2 ball game. This has been a wild one. Base is juiced with nobody out. Here comes Zarilla. He has driven in 12 so far for the Red Sox, and uh, he's taken a strike here 0-1. There's a ball, 1-1. One one. Fouled away is 1-2 on Al. A little fly ball over to center, and uh, Doby makes the catch for the out. Williams will score. There goes Stevens for third, and Doby with a great throw, and that'll nail Stevens. And so the Red Sox take the lead on that uh, fly ball to center, but uh, they get a double play. The Indians get a double play out of that. It's a three to two game now, and up comes Billy Goodman. Two runs here in the bottom of the sixth for Boston, and Bill, uh, Goodman takes the ball. Now a strike. It's one and one. There's a ball high. Two and one the count. Foul the way is two and two on Billy. Hit over to right field, and Kennedy's got that one for the out. And that will do it for the bottom of the six. So we go to the top of the seventh inning. It's a 3-2 to two lead here for Boston, and uh, up comes Mickey Vernon. And Mickey takes the ball, and then a strike, one and one. Foul the way. It's one and two on Vernon. And swing and a miss. What a breaking ball. That one disappeared. Vernon didn't have a chance. And uh, he had strikeout number five for Par Parnell, one away. Ken Keldner takes a ball, and then a strike, one and one. Hit to the left side, Pesky out of room, one and two. Ground ball short, Stevens drops it, throws back to first, and uh, that's going to be an error there on Vern. And so second error of the ball game on the Red Sox, it was Dom DiMaggio with the other one. That brings up Larry Doby. And Doby, of course, representing the potential go-ahead run. Keldner on at first doesn't have much speed, and Doby takes a strike of the knees, and then a ball low, one and one. Sinker is low, 2-1, and one. and swing and a miss on that one is 2-2, two and two. and that fastball misses, full count on Doby. Hit over to Zarilla and right, and he's got that for the out, two away, and here comes Lou Boudreau. That's a line shot to left, but Williams is there, and he was positioned in the right place. So Williams makes that catch for the out, we go to the bottom of the seventh, it's still a 3-2 to two lead for Boston, and here comes Bertie Tebbets. Has lined the left field, and uh, Mitchell's got that one. Goes over into the gap and gets it. One away. Mel Parnell now. There is a strike to Parnell. And ground ball to Lou Boudreau, who throws to first. Two away, and here comes Dom DiMaggio. Popped up left side, and that's going to land harmlessly. You had Kellner, Boudreau, and Feller running around after that one. Nobody took charge, and uh, fortunately for the Indians, that was in foul territory. 0-1. It's fouled away again. It's 0-2 now in DiMaggio. And that's low off the play. One and two. Fouled away. Swing and ooh, just fouled away. One and two. There's a ball high. Pop up out of play. 
And there's a strike three. DiMaggio didn't swing. It looks like they're ruling, but I don't think it would have mattered either way. We go now to the top of the eighth inning, and uh, it's going to be uh, Gordon, Kennedy, and Hegan up here for the Indians. Gordon first, who's 0 for 2, but did score a run. 1-1 one one is the count on him. Head over to center. DiMaggio is there, one away, and here comes Bob Kennedy. Ground ball, Stevens throws to first, two away, and here's Jim Hegan. There's a strike. So, so far, an easy inning for Parnell. And as soon as I say it, he uh, gives up a base hit to Hegan. That was hit over to left field, fell in front of Williams. That'll bring up uh, Bob Feller with the runner on at first. Bob is one for three. And he takes the ball outside, one and zero. Ground ball, Dewar is second baseman. Uh, throws on to first for the out. And uh, we go now to the bottom of the eighth inning. It's going to be Pesky, then Williams and Stevens for the Red Sox. And there's a ball low to Pesky, 1-0. Fly ball to right. Actually, Doby in center field will catch that one, one away. Here comes Teddy Ball game, and he takes a ball inside. Two for two today. 2-0 two the count. Walked last time up. There's a strike. Ground ball, third base. Keldner on to first in time. And uh, so Ken, uh, Williams likely will end up two for three unless the uh, Indians come back in the top of the ninth. Two away, and here's Vern Stevens, and he takes a ball outside. He's one for two. One and one is the count on him, and uh, there's a pop-up out of play on the left side. One and two. Swing and a miss. Down goes Stevens. And uh, that does it. Another good pitch by Bob Feller. But we go now to the top of the ninth, and Feller's going to get the loss unless the top of the Cleveland order can do something. It's going to be Mitchell, Vernon, and Keltner. One, two, three. Mel Parnell trying to uh, keep a corral on him. There's a strike to Mitchell and another swing and a miss. Oh, and two. Too high. One and two. Low. Two and two. Fastball dipping into that zone. What a pitch by Parnell. Strikeout number six. One away, and here's Mickey Vernon. Fouled away. Oh, and one on Mickey. And there's a ball. One and one. Fouled away. It's one and two. That's low. Two and two on Mickey. Swung on and missed. Parnell with the high, hard one, two away. And that'll bring up Ken Keltner, and he's the last uh, chance for the Indians. And they're going to lift him here for Ray Boone. Interesting decision. There's a ball outside to Boone and a strike. It's one and one on Ray. There's another strike, one and two. And we'll pass the mound. Dewar has that and throws on to first base for the out. So uh, the Red Sox do it here. They win this game 3-2, to two, and now they will take the half-game lead in the American League. And that's the way that this one's going to be. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, we'll have another one for you again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.